أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام أشرف المرسلين سيدنا ومولانا محمد المصطفى صلى الله عليه وسلم بمددكم ونزلكم سيدي يا رسول الكريم لحبيب العظيم مد يا سيدي يا سلطان الأولياء ما شاء الله لفيز الدغستاني مد يا سيدي يا سلطان الأولياء ما شاء الله محمد ناصر محقاني مد يا سلطان قلوبنا مولانا الشيخ شام كباني مدد الحق حجة الله المخلص أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول وقول الأمر منكم إن شاء الله always a reminder for myself أن عبدك العجيس وضعيف ومسكين وظالم وجهل by the grace of Allah that we are still in existence and took a path in which to be nothing and this whole world is interested in to making us something. And alhamdulillah a reminder from today when we were talking but it's important reminder always for myself is that what is haqq? And in these days of confusion everybody says they're on the truth. Their way is the truth, their belief is the truth. And only Allah come into our lives and begin to clarify because they grant a, a certainty to everything. Means there's a yaqeen in everything. When Allah want to make a word such as haqq, it's made by an ingredients, means every word that appearing Allah put a, a hikmah into it. And its hikmah and its haqqaiqs can be found in the huruf. That haqq is ha qaf. Ha for Bahr al Hayat and the oceans of eternity, Qaf al Qur'an al Majeed and Safat al Qayyum that Hai al Qayyum, the Hai al Qayyum means Allah creates a light and that light to be a haqq it has to be from Bahr al Hayat the oceans of eternal life. It can't be from anything temporary because temporary is false and is perishing by its nature. It has to be qayyum because that reality is not sustained by me and you, not sustained by anybody or any creation. It's sustenance from Allah's Divinely Presence. Qudrat al ilahiyya the Izzat al Allah is the power to keep that manifesting. Only Allah come into our life and begin to teach that that's a reality of creation. It's not from understanding the Creator. But Allah I created high and I created night. I created life and I created death to test your creation, not to test Allah Allah beyond the understandings of Hai. We are given a life because we are given death. The oceans of Al Hayat is a description for a reality in creation. When Allah in Holy Qur'an is saying, Qul ya قُلْ جَاءَ الْحَقِّ قُلْ جَاءَ الْحَقِّ Only Allah come into our life and describe Allah is talking to someone. It's a speech. 
When Allah speaks, Prophet ruhaniyat must be listening. Allah doesn't just speak for the entertainment. This is not from this world, this is not from the world of form. This is from the malakut, the world of eternal lights. Even above that from the oceans of eternity, the oceans of the energy within an atom that Allah made as an ancient reality. This world of form that we manifest from is, is perishing, this is the falsehood and the haqq is in the heavens, is in malakut, not in the mulk. The mulk, everything in this mulk is perishing. Everything in this world of form, it has a manifestation, it has a time and then it goes. But malakut is eternal. So when Allah قُلْ جَاءَ الْحَقِّ زَهَقَ الْبَاطِلِ the tell, tell and this is a reality from Allah that your reality of al-haqq is the truth and everything other than you is false. And falsehood by its nature is perishing. This is now a description of an essence. Before this world of form, in the worlds of malakut and light, when Allah is going to make this light and His Divinely speech is, is Allah's is that coming from La illallah, La ilaha illallah. But it must manifest for this creation on Muhammadun Rasulullah. So this light of creation that everything going to be manifesting from that light is the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah That izza of Allah is in that qul, that coming from the qaf to the lam, that Allah's Divinely speech, powers of Holy Qur'an, Divinely speech of Allah is Holy Qur'an is coming and dressing al-haq, making that haq to be hayyu al-qayyum. That when I energize your ha is the oceans of hayat and your light is eternal light. Your light is the truth and the light of all lights, nur al-anwar wa sirat al-asra. You are the light of every reality and every reality is within your light. Qayyum, I'm the one Allah Allah describing, I am your sustainer, your haqq. Anything other than your light is a falsehood. It means it's a distance away from Muhammadun Rasulullah as much as things move away from the reality of Prophet it becomes false. And Allah describes a falsehood by its nature is perishing, is a hook. If it's not going to exist and I'm going to show you one day it becomes non-existent because we have a temporary life, a temporary existence like a candle. Allah gives everyone a candle. So I'm going to light, you're going to come into this world, you have an existence like the flame, but you have a certain time as this flame is going, the, the wax is melting, this candle is going. Why all the Prophets were sent? All the Prophets are from this ocean of haqq because the message of Allah must always be true. So they take from that light, and they come to deliver the message, the message of Allah through the vehicle of haqq is the Risalat of Prophet That's why Prophet described, I was a Rasul before this Adam of clay and water, before the world of form, I am eternally Rasulullah 
صلى الله عليه وسلم طاهر الهادي when we say Sayyidina Taha sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he's the Tahir al-Hadi, the purified guide in the world of Malakut that eternally speaks for Allah that no angel can pass, no jinn can pass, no prophet, no creation can pass that reality. They move to the hat of Prophet that's it. That's they're coming to teach that's haqq. That ocean of truth is the ocean of haqq. And from that ocean everything is created in truth. When Allah says, we created everything in truth, it's a code for awliyaullah to know that Allah confirming, I have created everything in the truthful light of Sayyidina Muhammad What do you want to know beyond haqq? Beyond Prophet is Allah Oh Allah you're going to be shariq, you're going to reach a place where you see Allah It's impossible. Allah manifest all His Divinely realities upon the reality of Prophet So the most purified and perfected light of Al-Haqq from that Allah describes in Holy Qur'an that we created everything in truth. They're wondering what is the truth, I mean this aqeedah, that aqeedah, this group, this firqa, this people, this deen, this what? No. The truth is Hayyu al-Qayyum. The reality of that Hayyu al-Qayyum is what we call Muhammadun Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, And all the Prophets are from there. All the Prophets came with the light of truth of Hayyu al-Qayyum. They operate and this is the re reality of the soul. So Hayyu al-Qayyum is your soul's reality. And every night when you sleep and you put your body to rest, your body is from the mulk, your soul is from Malakut and it's live. It's alive and moving around doing what Allah has ordered the soul to do. When the zalim is sleeping, the soul is free. The soul does not sleep, the soul is not sustained by our food, it's sustained by Allah And only Allah come into our life and say, do you want to know how that soul is sustained? The dhikrullah. It picks the energy of the dhikr and the remembrance of Allah by the salawats upon Sayyidina Muhammad the soul is, is energizing with dhikr. So it's a drop from that ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah That's haqq. When we understand haqq and everything other than that is a falsehood. They're all fake. And as you move towards them, they're going to perish. All of their falsehood is going to be like a crumbling dust. They can't stand in that presence. Shaitan can't stand in that presence. Shaitan is running, running. He's never running towards Prophet he's running away from Prophet because the two don't come together. False and truth, they never sit together. False is false. And the haqq of Sayyidina Muhammad is truth. So what they want for us in our life to understand, when we say the people of haqq, they are the people who have a love for Janab al-Haqq. They have a tremendous love for Sayyidina Muhammad So then begin to answer many questions. How can someone or some group say that we are the people of haqq? And yet they don't know even that reality of what is haqq. They think it's their aqeedah that's the haqq. They think it's their yelling, their screaming, their shouting or their firqa, their groups and sects. No, these are all the amal that should have taken you to the oceans of al-hayat. Whatever amal you're doing, if Allah finds sincerity in your amal, he begins to open your soul upon your body. So when we describe now what haqq is, haqq, 
are the realities of Sayyidina Muhammad It's the reality of the soul. We all been given this drop of haqq. So Ahlul Haqq and the people of truth, they are the ones whom their practices found acceptance with Allah Allah I think we are in the secret of the month of 45. Jalsiyah? So Jalsiyah is a Surah 45. And one of the ayahs in the Surah Allah is, I am the wali of these muttaqeen. I am the wali and the protector of these muttaqeen that they reach a consciousness and a taqwa over all their senses, their practices, their amal, their belief and their love for Sayyidina Muhammad opened all their senses and they became mutaqeen. They have the perfection of consciousness of their hearing, of their seeing, of their breathing, of their hands and of their feet. They did all their fard, they entered the oceans of, of, of the sunnah and the way of love and this is the hadith al-Qudsi where Allah describes, you come to me after you did your fard, come to me with voluntary worship. I become the eyes in which you see, the ears in which you hear, the hands in which you feel. These are description of the mutaqeen. When Allah find acceptance in everything they do, these are the people of hayat because He's describing for them that, I open now your soul upon your body. Not your body locking your soul and you're a zindani. The awliya come and said, this is a prison and you're its prisoners. You are bound by this material world, its cause and effect, its interests all have grabbed you and made you to be a prisoner and this is the prison. Those whom Allah freed from that prison, they're mutaqeen. Through their practices and how they've been trained, Allah opens their soul that let the Hayyu al Qayyum to be operating upon you and you're going to hear from your soul. Because the soul is ilahi, is from the Divinely Presence, heavenly oceans of the Divinely Kingdom, it's not from here, it's from the Malakut kulli shaykh, from the world of Malakut that has power over everything. Every reality is in the hand of those Malakut. That you operate from that reality, you hear from that reality, you see from that reality, you breathe from that reality, you talk and you walk from that reality. Your Ahli Hayat and your reality is Qayyum and that I sustain you, I feed you, I take care of you. If all the world was to come against you they can't. And if all the world was to try to support you, they can't. Means Allah becomes wali over these mutaqeen. I am your protector. Not shaitan can come to you, not anything can come to you because you are mukhlas. Shaitan has his hands upon other people. But Allah said in Qur'an, not my mukhlas. Means these are Ahl Haqq, their whole being is emanating from truth. They operate from their soul. Everywhere they go, it's that ayat al kareem that wherever you go, you're going to perish every type of falsehood. So, falsehood and them doesn't get along. So, what Allah want from them, keep moving around. Wherever you move around, that haqq within you and all your practices and all your belief and all the souls and power and reality that accompany you, it completely destroys falsehood, different than other things. These are the haqqaiq of awliyaullah, that that haqq that when it moves, it destroys every falsehood, every falsehood. So then imagine their associations. 
Because when you take something of a reality, it instantly goes back. What ashiqeen were granted is Al haqq that take this line and Allah dressed them from Ahl al haqq. These are the people of Hayat, the people of Qayyum. They have merely a love and their love is so powerful. The minute they feel that love, they're back into the presence of Janab al haqq Instant. Not through prayer, not through fasting, not through zakah, not through hajj. They're in an immediate hajj. All of what they did of their worshipness and what Allah dressed them from their voluntary means they became sincere. And in an instant their love immediately takes them back to the core of this ocean of haqq and into the heart of the ocean of haqq. In an instant, faster than the blink of an eye, their soul returns back into that ocean of haqq. So means then think, we tried to explain today only Adam can put it into visual. That imagine everything, somebody with filled with dirtiness and sins and everything you can imagine. If one of those Ahlul Haqq should attach themselves, immediately pull themselves back into the presence of Prophet as they're moving back every falsehood begins to shatter off of them because nothing bad can go back into the Haqq. Their veils like uh, firewalls on a computer, all these veils of, of power like the earth has atmospheres. As they're moving back into the presence of Prophet's heart, everything that they grabbed begins to be destroyed of its falsehood. Every falsehood upon that and sun will be crushed and destroyed to be like dust and brought back pure and purified into the presence of Janab al Haqq. Because this is Allah's holy Qur'an. When they say, Shaykh will give us a dalil from Qur'an, these are the realities of that ayah. That Ayatul Qur'an is not for this dunya, it's for the haqqaiqs of malakut. That everything false that manifested on this earth because you left my paradises, you came to this earth and you made everything to be false. As soon as you ascend back to the earth, every falsehood will be destroyed, will be like a powder, like a dust that become burned away. Means that's then the reality of their association. They don't need to take you back with their salah and they don't need to take you back with zakah. They take you back only by their love of Sayyidina Muhammad As soon as you enter into their presence they grab everyone with all their dirtiness and return back into the oceans of haqq and everything is destroyed as it's moving back into that presence. And that's Allah's izzah and might that is not comparable to other things, not comparable to other associations. That the associations of haqq, the associations of muhabbat, that's why last night when we were talking only Allah were coming into the lives of people and say that this nafs of yours is something you can never defeat. Your nafs is created from Jahannam. Everyone has a ticket in Jahannam. So we described the truth. The truth, Prophet Hayyu al Qayyum. Now, what's the other thing <laughs> Allah put inside us? So, I'm going to put for you a nafs. This nafs is from the depth of Jahannam, and its origin is Jahannam, its desire is Jahannam, and all it knows is Jahannam. It doesn't know anything from paradise doesn't know anything from angels, doesn't know anything from Allah All it knows of where its origin and all it desires is to go back. That's why he inspires insan towards all wickedness and evilness. And by its nature what Allah puts, so means that he put this ego into everyone, that ego is from hellfire. It only knows wickedness and evilness and only wants
to go back to that wickedness and evilness. And only Allah comes say, not by your aql, your mind and not by your consciousness where you can think what should you do right and wrong. Never will you conquer that beast from Jahannam. Only thing that will conquer the beast of Jahannam is the foot of haqq. Means Qadam al Haq is the foot of Sayyidina Muhammad. Qadam al Siddiq that they followed the Qadam al Haq. And the Mutaqadam, Muqaddam are those whom are following, the following and following that way of Haq. Only the foot of Haq can come and begin to destroy that beast. Nothing that you can do by your aqal can outwit that which came from Jahannam. It became in this dunya shariq with shaitan, not your soul. Your soul never shariq with Allah It's created in haqq. Haqq never goes towards falsehood. We say, La shariq, Allah not talking to your soul. Your soul knows its origin and it's from haqq and never becomes partner with anything in this dunya. What becomes partner is the nafs. And nafs finds its friend also from Jahannam, his best friend from Jahannam. He finds shaitan and he become partner with shaitan to conquer the, the three of them. These two become partner to conquer the soul, to destroy the soul. So what they're teaching for us is that never you think that you go anywhere in this world and with your cleverness you're going to come against your ego. Already he's made you to be so clever to flip you into thinking that. Never, never through your contemplation and thinking you can contemplate on how to fight and destroy that ego. Only Allah, big only Allah gave their haqqaiqs and their teachings of what Allah and what Prophet inspired within the heart. This is not something you can conquer. And all from the hadith of Prophet that when they were going into battle they had finished the last battle, Sahabi Kiram with Prophet And on leaving that battle he says, we have left the minor battle and as I leave this world you'll be entering into the greatest battle. And the companions were crying, How, what, you, you don't understand what you're talking about. We fought very hard in your company. He said, no, these were the small fights. The greatest fight is when I'm not here with you. And that fight is against yourself. So it's not something, if the holy companions who all day and night were struggling to keep Prophet alive from the enemies of this dunya, all day and night struggling and Prophet warning them, I was with you and you thought that was tough. But now when I veil myself and return to my heavens, your greatest fight lies in front of you. And this is the fight of yourself. And they're coming and teaching that did you underestimate this battle? That you thought you were going to do it? This one has a seat reserved in Jahannam. His only interest is to take everyone to their station in hellfire. Only Allah are a rahmah and a mercy from Allah When Allah put you into their associations, inspire you to be with them so that that foot of haqq can begin to attack. Everything you do with them is a fire against that place of Jahannam. That's why it's so difficult to sit with them. It's so difficult to eat with them, to pray with them, to support them. He say, even you give one dollar to them, that sadaqa jariya is what? What does that mean? Means that whatever you're giving, if it becomes eternal, it's an eternal fire upon your nafs. Means your nafs in their association, whatever you do to them, do with them from these oceans of haqq become an eternal fire upon that nafs. That's why he doesn't even want you to put one dollar in that direction. That nafs and shaitan knows who they are, don't eat from them. 
Whatever you eat is going to be burning us. Shaitan is talking, bad for business. Shaitan said, this bad for business. If you sit with them, it's going to be burning us. You give them one dollar, that jariyah, that, that sadaqah that keep coming eternally is a fire that keep burning that shaitan and that nafs. It's not going to allow that. Whatever you pray with them, whatever you eat with them, whatever you drink with them, not only what they obliterate of bad character but what they begin to destroy the nafs that only their foot with the foot and the support of Prophet can come and to bring that nafs to be a قُلْ يَا النَّهْرُ كُنِ بَادًا وَالسَّلَامًا They make the fire of that being to be cool and peaceful. We said before in other talks that every Prophet wanted the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad What Prophet gave to his nation is that you have my sunnah is given to you. Every Prophet begged for my sunnah, I give you my sunnah is free. What Prophet gave to his Ahlul Bayt, his family, so I gave you everything. You want to fight this fight when these people of Haq, they're not sent without their tools. They carry a ring like the ring of Sayyidina Sulaiman where every jinn and every angel is under the hand of their authority and they can bring down the power of shaitan in an instant. If Allah give a permission, they carry the ring of Sayyidina Sulaiman And how Nabi Musa had the asa in Sunnah Prophet and with that asa he begged, let me to save these people and take them to the Promised Land. What about those who carry the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad At every association they part the oceans of ignorance and everyone coming from their pharaonic desire in an instant is taken to the presence of Janab al-Haq. Every association in an instant, as soon as the association begins the oceans of, of ignorance part and this association is lifted into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad by their asa as a symbol. The Prophet said, well, I gave to the nations before, not comparable to what I gave to my own nation. They were begging from these realities. We pray that Allah give us an understanding and dress us from these realities. Sidna nabi sidna nabi sidna nabi sidna nabi